today we are going to talk about the external credential and name credential um, let's talk about why uh, we use name credential um, it is to hold the uh, configuration or the name of the external URL so we can use it in uh, Apex uh, in the, uh, setup and then go to um, quick find box you type name credential this is change in winter 23 that is very important uh, this is the uh, name credential here if you click on this is a legacy here I don't want to go there this is a legacy uh, screen for name credential we are not going to talk about that so we um, this is 2023 uh, let's talk about the uh, new feature starting winter 23 before name credential uh, as I said earlier name credential holds the URL of external system for example here this is a legacy here it has the URL so it should have the credential as well otherwise you cannot access that so from apex you can call the um, name credential so is it easier to maintain you don't have to hard code um, uh, URLs and credential in your apex so first off let's create an uh, external uh, credential right now I don't have any click new uh, let's say anything is fine uh, my external credential okay so so we have custom OAuth is a product called AWS signature this is new this is the Amazon Web Service uh, standard. This is custom. Uh, you can go OAuth or custom. So we don't want to use custom. Let's go OAuth to, to OAuth or standard for authentication. It's a protocol. You can, if, if you want to uh, more information, you do the Google. Uh, you do a Google search on OAuth to to dot or this is out of the scope of Salesforce. Salesforce uses auth authentication protocol. Um, let's see auth uh, authentication provider is uh, I have here DevOps Center test. Well, this is uh, I have already a authentication provider. Scope is optional. Yeah, just save it. Uh, I put in name. I saved my external credential, right? So let's go back to name credential. So I'm going to create a new name credential here. Um, so this is a uh, so my lab my. URL HTTP SSH protocol uh, my example point um, some path is optional. Uh, my name credential we should use as uh, API name uh, it can be different. This is a label. So we my external credential we already created. 
client certificate we don't need it this is a call out option generate authorization header allow formula formulas in http header we don't have this uh, we don't want these two generate author authorization header means generate an authorization header and apply it to each call out that references the name credential uh, this is a namespace, list of namespaces that identify the managed package that which are allowed to make callouts using this name credential. It's part of the managed package. I don't want to uh, limit this with namespaces, just uh, take the default, you know, for the sake of the demo. Click OK. This is name credential. We created it, right? So it has credential users OO2. So <coughs> I'll show you how to use this. Uh, in apex code this is how you use uh, go to developer console uh, so this is the so this is the call out this is uh, my name credential and some path my name credential is here uh, so it call out is uh, so the so you can i'm using a get method and get here um, so you, as you can see here so i'm already authenticated here what happened if you want to change the um, url or endpoint or the credentials you don't have to do in um, uh, apex code maybe you call this from multiple places right all you have to do is you uh, go to the name credential and this said we can change it so this is the low code option um, uh, this is the best vi viable uh, uh, solution you configure and you don't you just use this uh, in the uh, apex code here that's all you have to do um, so this is my name credential. The, the purpose of name credential in a nutshell uh, to configure the endpoint and create an authentication. So you use the name credential in your Apex classes to access the external uh, sites. So get the data, retrieve data, update the data. So yeah.